I am Pepino here, back with episode 2 of Can You Survive the Lava Rain? And I am slowly expanding my house. And I think I have successfully survived the lava rain. Uh, from this point on, it's going to be mostly about style points. But I'm just finishing up the expansion of my house here. So, uh, soon as I am done with that, I will bring you guys back and we can start decorating. Okay, I am back and I have completed the square. This is how big our house is going to be. Um, I've also dug the sand blocks out all the way around so I can remove any of these slabs and the lava won't pour in. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the slabs there, but what I'm going to do is just for looks I'm gonna line the whole side if I can with uh... well do I have just stone slabs yeah I'm gonna line it all with stone slabs uh... just so it's uniform and it all looks nice and neat and also it will stop me from ever possibly going into the lava cause I won't be able to run into the lava even if I tried. So, uh, once I get this done, I think we are going to get rid of this sand floor and make the floor much nicer. Um, so that'll look a lot better. I don't know what I'm going to do about this lava rain uh, that's coming through the ceiling there. I think that's going to be permanent. But, uh, alright, I'm just going to dig out this layer of sand here. Um, so I will bring you guys back soon as that's all done. Okay, so we've got this whole floor cleared out, other than where the crafting table and the chest are. But, uh, I've dug down already and this is all dirt so we are not going to have any more stone. Uh, we aren't going to be able to build anything out of stone. So all we have to build is dirt and what we brought with us in this chest. So I'm going to have to decide what I'm going to want to build and it's going to be interesting. I don't know for sure what I'm going to build yet. Um, I'm going to want to maybe take furnace, uh, take this coal ore, I can place it and mine it, then I can make glass out of this sand. I've also got this glass. I think I'm going to replace this sand here all around there with glass, just for looks. Um, can I take this out? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that was a bad idea. Hold on. Um. Yeah. Alright. Not sure why that lava wasn't flowing in, but. Okay. So now I'll just fix that up. And. Then I can get rid of that and just place a slab there and we have our room. Now I just got to decorate it so I will bring you guys back once I have decided what I'm going to do with the place. Okay so I made the whole layer of glass like I said I was going to try to do but uh, I didn't have quite enough. I didn't take the uh, crafting table down yet. Alright. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place a furnace right there. And then I'm going to take my diamond pick and where did I put my coal? Could have swore. Alright, there we go. Here's some coal ore. I'm just gonna place it down. 
mine it, and I have coal, then I can take some sand and smelt it into more glass. So I'm going to need eight coal ore, or eight coal, to smelt that into 64 more glass, and there we go. This challenge is all about resource management, and I think I've done a decent job of that so far. I've got a f pretty big house, and I survived. So, also I think I'm going to use that wool to make a tiled floor instead of this dirt. So that's going to be the next thing I'm going to do once I finish uh, making this all into glass. There we go. I want to fix that corner. I don't really like how that goes there. Whoops. Alright, I'll put sand there for now. Um, there. Alright, and I'll grab one more piece of glass. Now I should be able to fill that in. And then there's one other spot right there where I want to get rid of the sand and looks nice and uniform all the way around. I like it. So that is the first step complete. Next step is tile floors. So I'm just going to take my shovel and I'm going to dig up all this dirt and I'll bring you guys back once I have my floors put in. Um, it seems that I have made my base too big to have the tile floors all the way across, so I'm just gonna, I think, separate this off into separate rooms, probably, and some of them will have the tile flooring and some won't, so I'll bring you guys back as soon as I finish that. Um, I'm also choosing to reclaim these stone slabs, as many as I can, some fall in the fire. But uh, I'm going to make this whole wall out of glass because I'm going to have to build wooden walls in here. And I don't want any fire to jump and burn my entire place down. So I'm just going to keep making uh, glass. And then I'm going to make this a whole wall of glass rather than uh, the wall of slabs and glass. I have got more furnaces, so I'm just going to use them to uh, smelt as much glass as quickly as possible. So I'm going to use all this coal ore up and uh, going to have four furnaces going at once, possibly more, depends, but I'm going to turn all of this sand that I got into glass. Okay, I've got all the furnaces going now. And uh, I didn't have quite four more full stacks of sand, but uh, it'll hopefully be enough to finish this whole wall around there. And then I'm going to work on building my walls, but I'll bring you guys back after that. Okay, so I have completely filled this wall with glass, and I'm going to have a lot of glass left over. So, uh don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but um, I am now able to start making my walls. I'm going to wall off a couple separate rooms in here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in them yet, but I'll bring you guys back once I have the walls built. Okay, I have uh, built some walls here, and I have a bedroom started, a library and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with this room, but I'll think of something. And the other thing is, I'll show you, I have filled in the dirt under there, which has given me a lot more wool. And now I can extend the uh, wool floors a couple rows. So uh, in situations like this where you have limited resources, you got to know how to make sure that you don't waste any. Like I would have been wasting wool had I uh, had any underneath these uh, wood planks or 
under the bookshelves. Oops, forgot one, but I have uh, removed all the wool now from underneath anything, so you can see every piece of wool that I have. Uh, that I have. So you have to just remember to be uh, as resourceful as possible and not waste anything. I have uh, decided I'm going to make a hallway type thing here out of stone slabs. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is replace this dirt in here with wood planks uh, because I have plenty of those and it won't look bad. Um, but then hopefully I'll be able to extend this wool just a little further and uh, eventually I will make some more rooms on the other side. So that is the next thing I'm going to do here is just make this little hallway and that way I can more efficiently use my wool and resources to make this place look better. So I'll bring you back in a little bit. Okay, we are back, and as you can see, I now have six rooms. Not all of them are full yet, but uh, what I have got to do now is, well, I've got the whole area floored nicely with wool, but next step is going to be the basement, which I'm going to start building now. But uh, this just goes to show how, if you are resourceful, uh, I wasted absolutely zero pieces of wool. I have absolutely none left. Uh, but if you are resourceful, you can go from being able to fill about half of your area with floor to being able to successfully fully fill it and make it look good. But uh, I have got to get working on the basement, so I will bring you guys back once I make a little progress on that. Okay, so uh, before I worked on the basement at all, I decided to decorate the upstairs area. So first you got my bedroom. I added this uh, little area surrounding my bed. I'm not sure what you call that, but uh, I think it makes it look a lot better. A little bed frame, I guess. Then you go to the library where I have added an enchanting table and then you go here got this nice little couch to sit and stare out at the endless lava fall of doom that has engulfed my entire world and then got my little dining room where I've got a nice table with three watermelons on it in case I get hungry and I've got my art gallery with all different types of paintings and then I've got my little workroom here, all my stuff, and then I've just got this hallway here, I'll probably add some paintings there, and then I'm going to go make the basement right there. But uh, this is where I'm going to leave off for this episode, so you will see the basement in episode 3. This is I am Pepino saying thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more awesome videos. See you next time.